Battle. We are in Paris, France, and we have been playing fighting games all weekend long. But for Mortal Kombat, it comes down to this final match, where we find out who's going to get the lion's share of those points and the prize money. I'll be honest, if I was forced to choose, I'm going to choose Tekken Master. I think Tekken Master, he's got the experience, he's got the consistency. That's the main thing that really separates him from a lot of competitive players is if he is in attendance, you know he is one to watch. He is probably getting top eight minimum, dare I say top four minimum. You know, he is one of the strongest players in the community. And I believe we're about to get his entrance to the stage right about now. Tekken Master is one of the players to watch and has been for years and years and years. I'm just so excited to see whether he can actually bring it all the way. He was my pick to win this tournament. Looking at this top eight, you look at the level of play and you look at, as you said, the consistency. Tekken Master is consistency personified. Is Baraka of all characters in this top eight, is Baraka going to win? But, but again, we talk about it, it's, it's not, Okay, so Baraka was nerfed in the patch, right? But Baraka was super good before, but the only real change he got was damage scaling. Obviously, Synergy with Cyrax took quite the hit, you know, for the traditional way you were playing. Now, if you still play Baraka Cyrax, it's, you know, I mean, I still play him, I do like, a lot of self-destruct, but you're not playing him the same way, right? He took the character, Striker, and still making it work. Kanemani, on the other hand, we're looking at whatever character he thinks will get the job done, whether it's gonna be Johnny Cage with various Cameos, mainly Lao, I think. And then, of course, that Raiden with the Kano. This is what it boils down to. And remember, Kanamani, again, I know we're repeating ourselves a lot, a very young player and inexperienced in the offline space. This is his first ever offline major appearance and second place minimum, grand finals, waiting to face off against Tekken Master. That is quite the debut. I am expecting the Johnny Cage to come out this time because when Kanamani last fought Tekken Master earlier today, it was Raiden. And the Raiden just couldn't get the job done. Uh, I think it was just a, a combination of things. The big one was that Tekken Master was just so comfortable in that matchup. Has run hundreds of matches, not only against it, but in the mirror, you know, all kinds of different things. But that's Plays one thing, yeah, Tekken Master is, is his preparation, his, his preparedness to just be ready for everything you can throw at him. And if you're throwing at him a, a top tier thing, you know he's done the homework, you know he's labbed it, and you know he's ran that match many a time. But of course he himself been playing the Baraka striker almost exclusively, I think in uh, today's top eight. I think, in fact, yeah, I think we've only seen the Baraka striker. But again, like I was saying before, Baraka got nerfed. But if you like the style of just a lot of commitment on block into making stuff safe, you know, helping you kind of plow your way in, Striker is doing all of that. You could do a similar thing with Kano, but the Striker grenades are mid-explosions, which really helps for the ability to get combos on here if they go for a trade, or just kind of covering yourself. And again, the way Tekken Master is playing it, He's not kind of just doing whatever. He's playing a very fundamental game with Baraka, taking risks when appropriate and covering those risks with cameos all the time. And Striker is that cameo. It lets him play the way he is. So even though Baraka, worse than before, yes. Unviable now? Definitely not. Especially when you're playing him with the right cameo. And in this patch, Striker with Baraka is that cameo. So we are just going to be doing a button check just to make sure A, lowered health bars, and B, I mean, more importantly, buttons, right? You'll make sure everything's good to go as we jump in. Uh, grand finals, absolutely. I'll always use this quick opportunity to explain this is a double elimination tournament, right? What does that mean? Why does that mean that Tekken Master went straight into grands and now Kanamani had to do it? What does this mean for the finals? Basically, long story short, if Tekken Master wins this three out of five, he wins the tournament. If Kanamani wins this three out of five, we're about to see, he will essentially send Tekken Master to lose his bracket and we have one final set. Yep. So Kanamani has double the work to do Got to because reset Tekken bracket. Master still has that lifeline. But that's it, it's a lifeline, right? Kanamani lost earlier, so he's got to put Tekken Master into losers. That's the way it works. It's why we get one, one player from winner's side and one player from losers. It helps and it's the way it always is. But Tekken Master. I definitely think Tekken Master is the one to watch. And I know we've been saying it, but I mean, how, how, can you, how can you bet against him in this kind of situation? How can you do it? And we're starting our match. I'm looking at the intros on my cheaty monitor. 
We are getting our first match of Grand Finals underway. As we've said many times, the new blood versus the seasoned veteran. It's Tekken Master with the Baraka Striker and Kanamani with the Johnny Cage and Kung Lao. Tekken Master starting off strong, but instantly a full combo for Kanamani. Now this is Grand Finals. This is the last match of the tournament. It has all come down to this. And by the way, Tekken Master literally started this this game with a uh, blade charge into Striker. <laughs> we just like, got to set the tone. We got to set course. the tone for things. Set the pace. But you are correct. Kanamani has gone to the Johnny Cage Lao, and the the Raiden is nowhere to be seen this time. But a full catch. Already, this Johnny Cage is just looking more comfortable. And the Ooh. back three string escaping the wrath, but the wrath of the back three for Johnny Cage is still there. Looking like this round could go in the favor of Johnny Cage. A beautiful throw tech there from Kanamani. The quick rise. Doesn't want to extend for Striker. Now, Johnny Cage, I think quite... A, I know you can say this about a lot of characters because Johnny Cage is so good right now. Oh, ending in the taunt to get the hype meter ready to go. But Johnny Cage is all right against Baraka. That six frame down one, you're going to be able to get a punish on the overhead, punish on the back one, two, right? There are a few things that you're kind of used to just staying minus seven at. And even though it's only a down one, it gives you enough advantage for Johnny to really start his offense game. Kanamani's going to be aware of that. There it is, hype mode is there. The respect being forced. Tekken Master has to know. The whiff punish, though. We're going into that Baraka Barrage. Big damage going in. Striker covering with the grenade. Safe jump enforced. Oh! And there is the EX Nut Punch Strike Invincible. Kanamani forces that turn back at the cost of two bars. And there's another dash, but the back three string does keep Tekken Master safe. Now, i got to say, you can see the difference in comfort from Kanamani with this Johnny Cage. You can just tell this is the character the majority of the time has come from. Really good in a lot of these matchups. Just all this brave defensive options. The parries out of nowhere. Who knows what else? Tekken Master still in this round. There's a reactionary block on the overhead. Does it work? No, it does not. And again, Tekken Master backs off to the perfect range to punish the dash. Oh, there's some matchup knowledge right there. Remember, the Fatal Blow, it's a parry on startup, but he can dash out of it. The range that Tekken Master was standing at covers all options. Perfect yep. play. And if he let it all the way, Rob, there it is again. the unblockable would have whiffed as well. That's the knowledge if I've ever seen it. And a first, again, the combo in this next round to open up the safe jump, a free side switch. We'll see how long that lasts versus Johnny Cage, though. A really good choice, the grenades, and there's the parry. Letting it go, tries to stay safe, but that chase down of Johnny Cage, far too Yeah, Kanamani tried that before, but didn't quite get forward enough. This time, though, a different story. Dash in grab. It's not deterring Tekken Master. He's, he knows the parry threat is there, but he's not going to freeze oh, up his game. Again. Striker there, do we save jump? No, we don't, we save it. Now, this is looking good for Tekken Master, got the break. At least had the break, already spent. With punish with the grenades, that's not good for Kanamani. Because even chip damage here could be dangerous. Tekken Master just looking for chip and the whiff punish. Tekken Master playing it as safe as possible at the very end there. Knowing all he needed was to slowly chip away at that last little bit of health. Doing all these options covered by that striker grenade. Perfect use of the cameo. Game two now, Tekken Master. Remember, so you got to win the first three out of five. A good punish. That actually gave the first tip for Kanamani as well. It takes a lot of discipline. It really does. To look at that kind of move and know you have to punish with down two just to trade favorably, a lot of players won't because there's almost a level of stubbornness. You've got to be disciplined enough to know it's that or nothing. I take that. Man, that safe jump really is no joke. Oh! Look for a whiff punish. No one home. <laughs> oh, you don't see that every game. Back off there. Having told that mid, Kanamani flipped. Surely has to break. Yep, there's the breaker. With oh, hello. And again, ready to cover it with Striker. Now Takamasa doesn't have the cameo, backing off. Now you have no choice but to hold this. <laughs> Looked for something that wasn't the overhead. <gasps> the break. Okay, a break from Takamasa. Confident that he can still seal the deal. But can he? He just walks up with back three. Are you serious? And that is enough, Tekken Master. He broke because he knew I'm going to find the hit. Don't, Don't you worry. worry about it. I got this. And got this, he did. My man Striker's going to look after me. That down four has been quite the important button in not only this matchup, but the entirety of the top eight. 
The dash in now. There's the launch. We're going to have to cut it short. Baraka was in the air, so we're not going to get the full gravity. Big wake up. But if your back's to the wall, it's kind of safe to do wake ups because Striker will throw those grenades at a range that you can't really hit Striker out of them because he stands off screen when he does it. Kanamani backing off. Now, this is what he wants. Have that life lead. Force Baraka to come in. Jump in, instant down four. Again, Takes it. yeah. Took the that was a punish down one on the overhead because it is minus seven. But Tekken Master gets it anyway. This is going to be big damage. We're talking mid to high 400s at least off of this. This is why you have to be disciplined though, because the one time Kanamani didn't punish with just a down two, look at how much damage oh, he took. Oh my goodness. And the damage Almost every time 500. afterwards. The chip damage debuff is applied. Striker is there. Has to be careful. Ooh. Those shadow kicks. An absolute nightmare if it gets blocked. Let's the back three go. The dashing oh grab! Tekken Master gets another game! Two to zero on Kanamani. One more for both Tekken Master and Baraka to win this latest pro competition stop. I mean, Tekken Master, it's, I was saying before, looking absolutely unstoppable. How do you deal with a player who's playing this good? Every time he makes his way in or does something dangerous, Striker is covering it. Oh, that one didn't work. Oh, that one did, though. But the Always launch. ready. Oh, didn't get the full punish, but again, Striker. No, couldn't save him this time. A good start here for Kanamani. A little bit shaky here for Tekken Master. Uncharacteristic. Normally pretty on it with those combos, especially Barakas. There is the Eternal, the back one. You want to press something? Back one. EX down forward two, mate. Give it to me. All right, there we go. So much of it, and the striker on the end. Keeping it gapless, going for the stab stab instead. Tekken Master really not wanting to give Kanamani anywhere to squeeze out a way back into this set. And again, just slowly but surely, always has the life lead. There's a crucial escape, though. Now, we've seen the damage. This is definitely kill territory for Kanamani, but that breaker, always a problem. I don't know about this. The no. patience again, Tekken Master. Tournament point now, looking for a potential 3-0 to win UFA 2023. Can he do it? He will take that trade all day. And he tried again to go for an uppercut in that instance, but just too tight of a window. The whiff punish, forcing the breaker. This could very much be the last breaker Kanamani will have in this match. Tekken Master now about to build a second. There's one striker, locked and loaded. All right. An opportunity, an opening for Kanamani. What are we going to get from this? A sweep, backing off, charge low hat, defensive striker just to disengage any pressure. We start again. Dashing grab. Kanamani, those throws have been pretty paramount this entire top eight. Oh. Oh, oh rare my. footage of low hat actually getting punished. That's what I was going to say. I cannot stress enough how tight that reaction has to be to punish low hat. That was instant from Tekken Master. Goes in for another safe jump, dash in throw, a game changing tech. Striker getting hit by a down one, and there, Striker oh. is hit. You can't break. Kanamani is still alive. Okay, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Kanamani stays alive. That's our carton in the background was like, oh, Striker, no. I, I saw him. It. I saw him leave. Baraka, you can't break this. Oh. And still comboed. All right. Big damage on the way for what it was. 360 because Striker hit a grenade. That's not good news if you're in Kanamani's shoes. Almost building up a full breaker. Letting it go. Gapless. Safe. This one to confirm. And you have to break this. Last chance for Kanamani. Oh! The back throw. Striker's there. Do we spend? No, we hold it. Tekken Master wanting to play as safe as possible, perhaps, or at least have the opportunity, and he finds it. Tekken Master is your grand champion for Mortal Kombat 1 here at UFA 2023 with Baraka. Baraka lives. That is the story being told. The striker pairing working so well the whole time. The veteran takes it today. But of course, we got to give shout outs to Kanamani for an unbelievable second place. And Absolutely. for an offline major debut, that is one hell of a statement to make. However, the man of the hour, the champion of UFA, Tekken Master, a legacy that started in MKX, is continuing not just in one game, two games, who knows how many at this Clearly point? Clearly as many games as he wants to play. Because remember, it's been a good few years since we saw Tekken Master play at an offline major tournament.
it has been quite a while since we got the chance to see him compete anywhere offline at that match. I'd say a good couple of years at least. And, uh, and it's not through lack of trying. You know, I know he's wanted to compete, just hasn't had the opportunity to. But now, with the rise of the new era, MK1, Tekken Master back to full form, to be honest, as expected. Now, I did say at the start of the top eight, it's a difficult selection to 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 know what to even think of it, you know? And, and, and who do you predict to win in this bracket? Absolutely ridiculous players. But one who did shine above all eight of them in terms of, well, there's one player who, I'll tell you, never lets us down and is always consistent. It was Tekken Master. And here we are, a few hours later. Tekken Master is your first place winner. And i got to say, doing it for the Baraka boys. Baraka lives through Tekken Master. I think Tweedy's out there somewhere, probably restreaming this as we speak, thinking, yeah, Baraka, let's go. <laughs> hey, man. But what's cool about it, though, is, again, the Baraka Striker, such good synergy. I imagine you could probably do similar things with like Baraka Kano, maybe Baraka Goro. But the problem is that, you know, again, Striker has the mids, right? That's the that's the real the real thing, the mid grenades. And that's pretty much all we what saw, you know, from, from Tekken Master was just the grenades. We weren't seeing any of the baton strikes, weren't seeing the handcuffs. It was just the grenades to cover, and that is it. And that's all he needed. With all these players we see, though, I see perfect representation of the international Mortal Kombat community. I want to give a huge shout out to Rizza, of course, for being a phenomenal stage host today and a phenomenal commentator yesterday, the man of many talents. And we shall one by one award those well earned medals. Video Games Yo, unbelievable talent, rep in the UK, doing a phenomenal job. Up next, it's Gur. This player is such a legend of innovation with that Gearus. And I'm sure there were plenty of people at home. <laughs> it's Boki next. Boki! That Kung Lao. I'm so happy Boki made top eight. <laughs> I am so happy it's perfect. Boki did it. I mean, he's a European legend, for crying out loud. For years and years. The world's hardest partier in Mortal Kombat. Oh, Axstar doing it for the French community here in Paris. And what a Reiko it was. Oh, this top eight was so Notre good. In fourth place, the man that needs no introduction of a Foxy grandpa. The man of many names. The Foxy. And it grows daily. And the Katana. Katana making top four at a major. Not too shabby. Oh, but speaking of characters, though. Scorpion. The Scorpion of the game. Scorpion. Let's go, MK Javier. What a legend. Loyalists through and through. Doing it for character loyalists everywhere. But, of course, we've got to talk about Kana Manny. What a debut. Second place, losing only to Tekken Master. Kana Manny, looking good. No longer just an online god. Future is bright for the younger players in the scene. Tekken Master, however, is the grand champion, the man of the hour, the Baraka. And just decided, you know what? It's time for me to win again. Oh, such a deserved first place as well. One of those players that always brings it, no matter what. You always know he's going to be ready. And there we go. Man, yeah. I'm so happy we got the chance to see him compete. It's been a good few years. And it's, I don't know, I missed seeing him, you know? Because he's always so reliable. And you know he's always going to play at the highest level of whatever he's doing at the time. Whether it's like new characters, whether it's characters he's working on himself. Always so much to expect, and of course, doing the Middle East scene proud, as always. What a top eight this has been! I've had fun, have you had fun? I have had a very good time. What about it's you, like, chat? Have you had fun? It's, it's, you it's, can't tell me, I assume you have. It's like I said before, like this tournament was just a perfect representation of international mortal, mortal combat, and everyone grinded hard, almost every single killer was here. So even getting into top 24 was difficult, let alone top eight, and then the top eight was a bloodbath in its own right, we've seen that. Proof's in the always the proof's in the pudding, as we say. But I'd like to use this opportunity to thank everyone involved, oh. you know. I don't know what happened to the light. We're gone. October's gone. It's not Halloween no more. Regardless, we'll continue. I'm, I'm going to pick up where you left off. Oh, you can see us again. <gasps> I'm not going to lie. I don't even know if the show is still live. 
Oh, I, I We're going to keep going until someone in production taps us on the shoulder and says, you're talking into a camera, you idiots. We've been offline for 10 minutes. He's got distracted, so I'll finish what I was saying. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in over the weekend. Thank you to all the players here at UFA. Thank you to the production staff for putting on a good show behind the scenes. Thank you to NetherRealm and WB Games, of course, for the pro competition as a whole. And, of course, thank you all for watching at home. We have been Ketchup and Mustard. It has Please. been a pleasure to commentate offline Mortal Kombat once again for you at home. You take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic weekend. And we will see you at the next tournament.